I just love to shop this way. Welcome to my cycling channel. So today we, I'm going to talk about the way I record uh, videos from the bike. It's not illegal, but it's very dangerous because uh, you're holding the thing with one hand, driving with one hand, uh, braking with one hand. So make sure you, you, you got the, the skills to, to do it. And I wouldn't do it in front of the police. <laughs> um, when you're descending or in traffic, stop and use the chesty camera, which is uh, a lot safer, because then you can keep both hands on the handle. First of all, thank you to the subscribers and comment if you want. If you have any questions, please let me know. Let me know also if you want me to do, if you have any ideas for videos, um, tell me and I'll try to make them for you. So uh, no uh, endorsement here, but I, it's a shout out to uh, Silvio's. We'll put the number somewhere over here. I went there to get a uh, gel to make a um, filter for my iPhone and uh, they didn't have it but they found this, this is a bunch of samples for other gels and I found one that it was an ND, um, basically an ND filter, I cut it and I put it inside the case of my iPhone so now I have an ND filter so I can keep the shutter speed down. Thank you, Silvius, my favorite store in Torrance. So let's get to this. Um, first of all, my phone, my iPhone. Uh, I, like I said, I put a, an ND filter there, so uh, it makes it a little darker. And I like it because it's lightweight, and also I always have it. So, but it's good to have a gimbal with this when you are filming so it's stable you know if you do it with a gimbal you won't regret it because it's just so smooth if you don't have a gimbal you could use a selfie stick also if you want to record uh, into the iPhone while writing I use this uh, phone which is just air conditioner uh, filters cost you like a buck it will sound a lot better and also what I did is I ordered um, an extension, it's a headphone extension so uh, I can put it maybe um, underneath my shirt and then I put the mic over here and it looks, you know, it looks better. That's just for looks. The other thing I use is the GoPro imitation and I put it on my chest. You can buy a chesty mount or I made this one myself. It's, this is just a piece of plastic that I cut and I put some uh, elastic stuff and I fixed it with uh, some zip ties and it works. With this one also what I did is I, this is the case for waterproof but since I, I, go, I don't go diving, uh, I had it there for about a year or two and I, I never used it. So I put a hole over here so I can charge or use an external battery with a camera. And I also put a filter on this one. This is uh, from uh, window tinting that they gave me. That one was for free. And it works nice, it works okay. The other thing I use is a um, Canon uh, camera, again no endorsement from Canon and I have this Mac filter there's nobody paying me to say this but this Mac filter is okay it works fine but so it's really easy to drop you know if you touch it it will go on the ground so you gotta be careful but um, and also the, the, the ring that was uh, had glue, it dried up and it came off. So I just taped this with some blue tape 
and it's working so you know, it's like it's like 30 bucks you know it's, it's not a bad deal but there's no other way you can put a polarizing or, or ND on these cameras and this one I use as a, as a long uh, as a long lens basically because this one is a SX 730HS and it's an older camera and the, the, the new model already came out I think with 4k but I don't need 4k I use it with this tripod I stop and then I take the, the photo and this is optional but I sometimes use this um, this is a remote control car that I modified I took the top off and uh, with with velcro uh, with velcro I stick this um, over here it's a mount GoPro mount and um, I can put the the camera over here and take either you can take uh, shots from the ground uh, maybe maybe around you if you want to take some shots of you what I use it for is also for uh, an effect that I do I take my my f camera on the chesty and I go to some obstacle stop then I take the 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 card and put it like near where I was. I throw it on the floor, on the ground, and go through the obstacle, and then go and take another one coming out of the obstacle. Then when you edit, it looks like you went under. You know, it's a nice effect. One thing is I don't use the helmet cam anymore because it gives me too much panning you know when you are looking because I'm looking at the cars if I'm gonna cross a street or something I'm looking both ways it looks terrible and, and I have to cut that part so I rather use the the chesty which is a little more stable and um, yeah you can see your arms but see, like I said I don't use it all the time I, I use this I put my phone here and I ride with one hand and I have the phone the phone on the gimbal and also I don't mount the camera on the bike except for a, a, a dramatic effect that you want maybe from the bottom or, or uh, some kind of uh, scene that you want to look at the gears or the brakes or something you know the tires uh, you, you can also do that with a selfie stick if you just you know writing you can put it close and close to the wherever part you want to film and uh, and then bring it back you know and you can use the rotate image uh, feature the rear cam I put it on the bike because that's the only way unless you put it on your back you know and I think it's better to put it on the bike and set it with a nice angle because you can't see um, some some way that you know that it's taking what you want maybe a little bit of the tire is okay and uh, a little bit of the sky and you know just set it there and start filming and as with every other video plan ahead make sure you know what you want because it's a lot easier to edit later instead of having a bunch of uh, footage um, film a little more than what you think you need but film the best uh, moments you know choose your moments so that is easier for you later so that's it that's basically what I do and remember always safety first uh, make sure you're not looking at the camera and then you crash into somebody or uh, you know, you have to be awake and, and uh, well rested and because this is, it, this is a lot of uh, skills that you're going to put together and it might be dangerous. So. Thank you.